I speak the speech, I pray you, as I pronounced it to you, trippingly on the tongue. But if you mouth it, as many of our players do, I had as leave the town crier spoke my lines. Nor do not saw the air too much with your hand thus, but use all gently. For in the very torrent, tempest, and, as I may say, whirlwind of your passion, you must acquire and beget a temperance that may give you smoothness. Now it offends me to the soul to hear a robustious, periwig-painted fellow tear a passion to tatters, to very rags, to split the ears of the groundlings, who, for the most part, are capable of nothing but inexplicable dumb shows and noise. I would have such a fellow whipped for a doing term against it. Out, Herod's Herod, pray you avoid it. Be not too tame, neither. But let your own discretion be your tutor. Suit the action to the word, the word to the action, with this special observance, that you will step not the modesty of nature, for anything so overdone is from the purpose of playing, whose end, both at the first and now, was and is to hold as twere the mirror up to nature, to show virtue her own feature, scorn her own image, and the very age and body at the time is form and pressure. Now this overdone, or come tardy off, though it make the unskillful laugh, cannot but make the judicious grieve, the censure of the which one must in your allowance or away a whole theatre of others. And let those that play your clowns speak no more than is set down for them. For there be of them that will themselves laugh to set on some barren quantity of spectators to laugh too, though in the meantime some necessary question of the play be then to be considered. That's villainous shows a most pitiful ambition in the fool that uses it. Go make you ready.